previously on Don Garampa V3 Killing Harmony. I just really want to try it out. If I don't, I'll never be able to rust in peace when I die. Rust in peace. He's not going to change his mind about this. Okay, let's do it. But get out of there if it's dangerous, okay? Certainly. Now, if you would be so kind, start it up. Convinced by Kibo's enthusiasm, I press the button. And then. Oh no! That was a close one! Wait! Yes, it was! Why did you do that? Why, Why didn't you press the force stop button, Suichi? It's not my fault. There's still some time left today. Hmm. What should I do? Free time! Do I still have the two left keys? A two! Yay! I should go get more, shouldn't I? Oh, wait, I can't be Kokichi's friend. Wait, can I still see Kokichi? I don't think so anymore. Oh no! Oh man! Oh, she's all alone. Well. I do have a friendship thing with Himiko, so maybe I can complete that. Should I go with Sumuki? Or should I max out? Who to pick? Mm -hmm. I'm kind of interested in Tsumugi's backstory. So I'll do Tsumugi. I think it's what I'm gonna do. She's in there. Uh, okay, before I do that, since I'm here, are there any mana cups? Maybe if I go in here. Maybe. Nope. Nope. We don't need you anymore, thingies. Your master ain't here. Or even Kibo's lab? <gasps> yes, there he is. I see you. What? Where the fuck is she? She was supposed to be here! I think. Wait, where is she? What the heck? 
Oh my god, was she right in front of me and I didn't see? Was she camouflaged again? Like how Kyo was? I don't see her. What the f- What the- I- uh, uh. Yeah. Being a hero is lonely. <laughs> it's a classic plot. There are even heroes who are lonely because they're too strong. Should hang out with her. Yes. Yes. We're holding out for a hero who can clean up this metal mess with one punch. One Punch Man! Tsumugi talked to me passionately about her favorite hero. Tsumugi and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? <gasps> Definitely! Yeah! I will give you a sewing kit. I can have this? Really? I mean, no one else here can even appreciate this like I can. Uh, You're weird, Suichi. Huh? Weird? How so? Uh, you wanted to hang out plain on me when everyone else is so flashy. Hmm. Smokey, you keep calling yourself plain. I don't really think you are. No. No, I'm plain. I know it. So you don't have to worry about being polite. I'm not just trying to be polite. Actually, most people are surprised when they finally notice me. They're like, Whoa, where'd this girl with glasses come from? I wonder why glasses are always associated with plain characters. That's... When you think about it, quiet and, when you think about quiet and smart kids, you picture them in glasses. But... There's a bunch of athletic kids with glasses, though. Like in sports anime. You can't! But characters with glasses are never allowed to take them off. Not even once. It's like they say, glasses are just like underwear. I have... Definitely never heard of that before. Uh, Wait, why are we talking about glasses again? Um, you started it? Uh, oh, right. We were talking about how I'm so plain. Uh, okay. Yes. Um, I'll tell you just how plain I am. When I go into a crowded store, nobody notices I'm there. When I want to check out, I need to try real hard to get the clerk's attention. That's... Not so bad. That's normal in crowded stores. It's happened to me. When I go to theme parks with friends, I'm so plain they lose sight of me. Uh, um... That's not your fault either. Theme parks can get pretty hectic. It's plain to see. And I always have a sewing kit and two plain white handkerchiefs on me. Hmm. You consider that plain? I think it's a good thing to be prepared. Hmm. Why is she making that face? I look like she's bothered with something. Stop! I'm just letting you know, but my list of plainness doesn't end there. Once you hear the rest, you'll think, oh man, she's so plain. Why is she being so insistent with this? Right? First off, when a teacher's taking attendance in class, they'll skip me. So I have to make sure I get counted. I'll be marked absent. Doesn't that suck? It's plain to see. Then, whenever people are studying to teams, I can pick class because I'm plain. Then, when I go into town on my day off, I get stuck behind people on the street who don't notice me because I'm plain. Then I go to a store, and none of the clerks try to help me because I'm plain. Time plain is really is quickly becoming your cat trait, Sumuki. That reminds me. And it's not just handkerchiefs. My underwear is white too, cause I'm plain. Underwear? Actually. Even if I get on a train without a ticket, nobody notices, cause I'm plain. Also, I can get into movie theaters without a ticket, cause I'm plain. Wait. But that's illegal. <laughs> just kidding. I bet I could do that though. I'm so plain. I don't have much of a presence. That's why I'm an international spy. Leave any undercover ops to me. Huh? A spy? Jeez. That was a joke too. I didn't think you'd fall for that one. Did you just pretend to? Uh, are you more of a jokester than I thought? No, it's not quite that. There could be a real spy among this, the ultimates here after all. Shuichi! Be careful, cult and con artist. I'm worried you'll get taken in. But Smoogie looks like she's having fun, so I guess it's alright. I wonder if I can max her out in this chapter. I hope I can. So we and I parted ways and I returned to my room. There's still some time. What should I do? Free time! 
Oh, I can't believe I only found one. Last chapter. Um, let's talk to you, Atsumuki again. I don't know why I keep doing this. I don't know why I have to keep going out there first and then go to the map. Let's see, where is she? Oh, she's right outside. Okay. The only time I don't need to look at the map is when I look at the map. <sighs> okay, where are you? Are you here? Is this you? Wait, what if there's a monocub in here? No, there isn't any. YouTube isn't here. Did Monica put it away? Yes, he did! He cleans up every single room where a murder happens! Hey girl! Wanna hang out with you again? That reminds me. Now that Gaunt is gone, I wonder what's going to happen to all the bugs in this research lab. I don't think we can deal with them. Should I hang out with her? Yes! What? Makes me feel bad, but let's just leave him alone. I wonder if Gaunt will get mad. I spent some quiet time with Sumugi. Tumuki and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? Definitely! Let's give her the sewing kit again. What? I can have this? Really? Hey! What do you do when it's nighttime? Do you sleep right away? Well. Uh, I don't have anything to do, so I tend to go to bed right away. I see! I did that at first too, but now I usually stay up late. 10 o'clock just seems too early to go to sleep. So I've been making paper patterns for my next cosplay until I get sleepy. If I remember correctly. That reminds me, you said you like making the outfits more than wearing them, right? Yeah. It's fine if other people wear them. I said it before, but some people have started to promote themselves more than their characters. Hmm. That's why you cosplay with love. Uh... Of course, there are still cosplayers who think their characters are important. But the worst ones are just the characters. Just use characters as stepping stones. Huh? Stepping stones? I can't believe it! People can get famous during cosplay, so from there, some people try to use that fame to become celebrities or idols. That's. I suppose that's true. It is a stepping stone for them. Right? It's fine if they disrespect me. Disrespect me? But I won't let them disrespect the characters. Aww. When I get mad like that, they just call me elitist and stop listening. Tsumugi sighed, rubbing her temples. This must be serious. Um, when people first start cosplaying, they just want to dress up as the characters because they like them. But before long, it warps. It gets more warped the longer you do it. Hmm. Warped? But the feeling doesn't change, does it? Uh, well, for cosplay, you have more contact with others than most hobbies. In the beginning, it was just it's just fun to wear the outfits, but then you start comparing, pushing your opinions, and starting drama. Uh, before you know it, the feeling of wanting to dress up as a character is replaced by a need to put in the effort to meet other people's standards. Makeup, weight color, contacts, whatever you need to make perfect. But Perfection isn't such a bad goal though, is it? But <sighs> the problem is, they start to make fun of anyone who doesn't get it perfect. Of course, I believe you should work hard to make quality cosplay, but it's even more important to feel like you become your favorite character. That's why I don't want to call anyone just starting out bad or a newbie. You can't! Ah, oh, jeez, I don't have the right words for it. I can't say it well. No. No, I think I understand. Sumugi never wants to forget the fun of cosplaying. Those feelings must be what makes her the ultimate cosplayer. Sorry. That was just- that wasn't just boring. It got pretty heavy too, huh? Don't think that's all cos- don't think that's all cosplay is, okay? Lots of things about her just plain fun. Hey! 
Next time, I'll talk about those things. If you want to, of course. <gasps> Yay! Jibri and I parted ways, and I returned to my room. Oh my god, it's night time. <gasps> Who am I gonna get with a love key? Ahem. This is an announcement from the Ultimate Academy. The time is now 10 p.m. Nighttime has officially begun. Killers, this is your chance to strike. Victims, you have my condolences. Will you sleep like a baby tonight? Or sleep with the fishes. Either way, dreams. It's nighttime. I would have been training. Oh, who is it? Huh? Who's that in the middle of the night? It's probably Kaito. Oh, Maki. Got a minute? Hmm. Maki, what's wrong? Well, Kaito asked me earlier to show him my research lab. Huh? Your lab? <sighs> Might as well show him since I know he won't take no for an answer. So you have to come too. What? Oh, okay. She wants me to go. Maki invited me, so I should go. What's up? What's happening? Ooh. Hey, girl. Um, Jimugi, what are you looking up at the sky for? Oh, Suichi, I was just looking at the stars a little. I remember something going to said before. What are they going to say? Yeah. Remember after Kunimi's trial? Now that she mentioned it. What's wrong, Gonta? Why are you staring up at the sky? It's just, even when all this bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. But the stars here are different, not the same ones going to used to. Actually, I was just thinking, the stars really are pretty. I can't tell the difference since I don't usually look at them, but they're pretty. That reminds me. I'd forgotten this feeling. With all the horrible things happening, I was always looking down. You're right. I need to thank Gonta. You're right. Hey. Do you want to join me, Suichi? Sorry. There's something I have to take care of. I see. Well, I'm going to stay here a little while longer. Hey, Kibo. Shuichi! It's very really nighttime, Suichi. What are you doing out and about this hour? Okay. I promised to meet up with Maki. I see. Well... I have no intention of strictly upholding a curfew. Perhaps it's an old habit from my time on the student council, but I felt like I had to ask. That was only a few days ago. Feels like we formed a student council with A&G ages ago. A lot of things have happened since then. We haven't had a moment to relax. Um. At any rate, please be careful. Being out during nighttime can result in another murder. Especially now, when we don't know Kokichi's whereabouts. You're right. I'll be careful. I will be careful. Thanks, friend. Uh, what floor is her place? Um, is there a Monica up here? No? Damn it. Damn it. Maybe in his room? Oh wait, I don't think I can go in there. I don't think they'll let me. Hey, what's up? What's wrong? Oh, 
Sorry I'm late. Oh, so you came too. Okay. Yeah. As if utterly bored by the painful silence, Maki started up a conversation. What are you trying to pull? Why did you have to see my research lab so suddenly, Kaito? All I just wanted to see what kind of weapons were here. What? Why would you want to see my weapon? You know, <laughs> wow, there's a ton of stuff here. Can you use all these Maki rolls? See. Yes, more or less. So... But there's no swords of any kind here. Japanese or Western, oh, right? That's true. I don't use any swords of any type. Not after I bossed my mission with the katana. Hmm. I see. Either way, I don't feel like weapons really suit women. Hey. Care to explain why you wanted to see my weapons? Ah. Didn't I tell you this morning? I've got a plan figured out. Ah. Oh, wasn't that black case over there? As if backing away from the conversation, Kaito headed to the far bookcase. So... What's in it? Is this some kind of weapon? Then... If you want to know, why don't you open it? Hmm, let's see. And then Kaito pulled something from the black case. Hmm? What's this? It's a bunch of parts. I see. As if assembled crossbow. So when you put them together, they become a crossbow. Looks interesting. Hey, Makiro, can you teach me how to put it together? Sure, whatever. Why do you want to know? <gasps> That's so cute. And this together. Um, like this? And then put that other part in the opposite way. <sighs> Wait, that's wrong. Oh, my bad. It goes this way. Mm-hmm. Then next, it's... While well, watching those two, the memory of a similar scene came to my mind. He's gonna die. It's him. Hey, more Maki. <gasps> what if Maki goes? Oh, snap. Kaito struggling while Maki gave him instructions. Eventually, they succeeded in putting together the crossbow. And since I built it, it became an extra cool crossbow. So Doesn't matter who builds it, though. Right. Seems like it's a bit complicated, but I think I can do it myself next time. Hey. Suichi, do you want to learn too? No. That's alright. I sort of understand from watching anyway. Hmm. Let's put it away. You can easily take it apart by reversing the steps. Are you serious? Wait, do I have to do it? That's right. Who else is going to do it? My bad. Y yeah, sorry. I don't feel too good again. What? Hey! <sighs> Seems like I'm not a 100%, so I'm gonna go back first. He's escaping. Hey! <laughs> Ignoring Mach trying to stop him, Kaito fled the room. Jeez. No, I knew he wasn't the type to clean up, but I never thought he'd run away with a crappy lie. Oh, How frustrating. He's the worst. Well, well that's just Kaito. <sighs> We're the worst, too. Well. I'm sure you know why I invited you, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, I do. You were trying to get Kaito and I to make up. You don't know? It's not like he hates you or anything. He's just being stubborn. But I just don't know what to say to him. I had no choice. Gonta, if I didn't do something, everyone would have died. I don't think it'll be alright to apologize for that. Hey! I'm sorry, Maki. I, I just need more time. <sighs> I didn't realize you two require such high maintenance. Sorry. Well now that you mentioned it. I didn't realize it earlier, either. I didn't realize Maki would be so concerned about us. Thank you. Thanks, Maki. In the end, I was the one who ended up disassembling the crossbow. After I finished, I returned to my room. Just like always, we're surrounded by problems. This academy is full of mysteries, and I'm worried about Kokichi. But then there's the thing with me and Kaito. All right. I need to make up with him. For us. And for Maki. I fall asleep thinking about it. Alright. Time for love key scene. <coughs> oh, I guess not. Never mind. Damn it. He's dying. Why? Why now? Why me? Damn it! I'm running out of time. I can't die like this. Like hell am I gonna die here? 
I, I still haven't gone to, to space in a minute. Recklessness is a beautiful thing. It's so beautiful, I want to print the words Reckless Beauty on a t-shirt. Because recklessness is the stuff that dreams are made of. It also makes you run at full speed with no regard for your limitations. It also makes you excited by anything. Some say it's foolish, but recklessness is what causes new events to unfold. So while you're still alive, live your life so recklessly that it makes you immortal. And if haters laugh at you, love them. They just don't appreciate reckless beauty like you do. Right. <laughs> oh! Um, hero shouldn't be asleep on the job. It's pathetic. Yeah. Oh, I think that's Monokuma. Whoops. Good morning! Although it's technically still night. Do you feel well rested anyway? Huh? Monokuma? Yeah. Nice face, Suichi. You definitely look your best in the morning. Too bad. You can look better though. I'm pretty picky about people's morning faces. Hmm. What are you doing here? Sure. How rude! My time is very valuable, you know. Since you fell asleep, still clutching the love key, I went out of my way to come wake you. I really wish you were more appreciative. Uh, um. Love key? You mean this thing I want at the casino? Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you how to use it. Huh? How to use it? <laughs> The key opens the way to a very special place. A place you might have seen in the vicinity of the casino. Hint, hint. Oh, right. That building. I suppose it would have this kind of key. You look like you figured it out. Thrilling. Good. A healthy teenager's brain is supposed to be obsessed with sex and lust. No, I've been there two times already. That key you got there should help you clear out some of those carnal desires. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Are you starting to get worked up? Are you ready to let it all hang out? Now then, please read the instructions. It's time for the talk. The love key talk. This is the key that is used to unlock the love suite. When night falls, you and one other person will be invited to the love suite. There, you will be part of that person's fantasy. They will see you as their ideal and basically just swoon all over you. Think of it as a kind of dream that lets you escape this cruel, dark reality. That's why it's so important to play the role that person wants you to. If you do something that breaks character, the other person will wake up in anguish. And what happens there, stays there. Memories are wiped when you exit. It's like a one night stand within a dream. Probably best you both forget it. Well then, that's it. Stay safe. Enjoy. You seem skeptical. Why don't you try it out for yourself then? Go ahead. Take that love key out for a spin. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Let love take hold of you. It'll make you sweeter than a bear's honey pot. Who am I gonna get this time? Who am I gonna get this time? I watched Monica move bounce away, stun. The key felt heavy in my hand. Hmm. Suppose it couldn't hurt. Would you like to use Yes! And then save up all this coins for nothing. Who is it? Kibo! Why is it never the people I get relationships with? Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal, like some shared fantasy. Do robots have fantasies? Um. Suichi, I have a favor I'd like to ask you. It's embarrassing, but you're the only one I can turn to. Uh, um, what kind of favor? That's... Well... Shuichi. Will you form a romantic pair bond with me? Huh? <laughs> romantic pair bond? I expected that some people would have this kind of fantasy, but not Kibo. But something's not quite right. He didn't ask for a confession or a date, but a pair bond. Strange. I... As you can see, I'm a robot, and I'm not ashamed of that, but... I haven't had to experience the feeling of love. Even human children I felt love before. Could it be... Are you saying you won't experience that emotion with me? Yes. Humans often say that love is the most precious, wonderful feeling in the world. I too wish to experience what love is. Will you please help me? Uh, um... Um, would you... Like me to act like your lover, Kibo? I suppose I can do that. Listen closely. Of course, if we're going to do this, I will need you to take it seriously. Huh? What's the matter? Why are you surprised? Simply going through the motions would be dishonest. We must love each other unconditionally. We must understand each other completely. 
we must go on dates, grow even closer, and then we must commit our lives to each other. Wait! Hold on a minute. What is it? Oh, did I speak out of turn? Hmm. No, it's not bad. It's just... Don't you think that's a bit of a long term for her favor? That's not wrong of me, is it? Or do you believe there's an easier way to feel for, to feel love for another? That's not true. That's not what I'm trying to say. Of course. Then please take me in sickness and health, so that I may truly know what love is. All right, he's going too fast. I have to get him to ease up a little. But Kibo, do you really like me that much? I don't want a relationship based on lies. Uh, oh well, now I feel rather awkward. Um, I I didn't want to hear you say that. I don't actually love you, hmm. Kibo. Well. I apologize if I gave the impression that I wanted a dishonest relationship. I just thought you were the only person I could ask of this favor. I couldn't have asked this of anyone else. I just want you to know that. Sorry. Is that true? I'm sorry. I should have never doubted your feelings. No. No, I don't blame you for being for feeling skeptical. My approach was wholly lacking in tact. It's obvious now that my overzealousness for romance has earned your has hey. earned your scorn. Hey, now I I didn't say no. Really? Okay. I don't have a plan for the future, but I know I want to help you, Kibo. I think I might already be in love with you. Uh huh? What? what? I think my feelings for you are increasing at an exponential rate. Please say more kind words to me. I don't want these feelings to go away. Uh, neither do I. It's just I get embarrassed saying things like that. Then may I? Your hand? Oh, he's so cute, though. He's so cute. My hand? I may not have much experience with love, but I know I can't turn him down. Well, if it's just that, okay. I reached out my hand. Kibo reached out his. The robotic hand didn't quiver. Hey, Kibo, this is a handshake. Huh? Oh, that's right. Lovers hold hands in a different fashion. But. I'm quite nervous. Would it be alright if we stay like this a bit longer? Oh, my heart. In a handshake? Is at peace right now? Yeah. Of course you can. This hand that I shook should have felt cold. But somehow it felt so so warm. Aw, that's nice. That's cute. He's adorable. I like Kibo. Maybe I should have got my relationship with him instead. Ahem. This is an announcement from the Ultimate Academy! Rise and shine, kiddos! It's another gorgeous day for a killing game! So get out there! Embrace your homicidal urges! And have a fabulous day! How am I supposed to enjoy my day? When you just said it was a killer day. What? It's morning already? Last night with Kibo. Was that a dream? My hand still feels warm. I'm sure everyone's gathered in the dining hall. I should go too. I get the feeling that the love key gives you scenarios for every uh, everyone and anyone that you didn't have a relationship with. Oh wait, we're going to the dining room. Whoops. Hey, here we go. Whoa. Hey, Suichi. Good morning. Uh, okay. Good morning. I'm still not used to Himiko being so energetic. Hmm. Seems like everyone's gathered at the dining hall today, too. Since I've been here, I've been on a pretty regular schedule. You're right. Me too. I'm even eating breakfast every morning now. Hmm. It'd probably be good if I kept up the schedule after we got out of here. If I do that, It'll probably enrich my magical powers even further. Right. More importantly, it might be because of the schedule, but I think they've grown a bit. I'll grow them bigger and bigger this way, and no one will be able to call me titless. Huh? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I'll get going now. <laughs> Nobody calls you that. <sighs> oh. 
I think the only one who's called her that was um, Miyu. She was just being mean. What's up, everybody? Okay, she's not here. Well, if he was, it'll be complete chaos. What are you thinking of? Huh? Well, you're worried about Kokichi, right? We're all worried too. Yes. I searched everywhere for him, but I couldn't find him at all. Sure enough, he's a master of hide and seek. It can't be. He couldn't have escaped by himself, right? Well. No, as long as Monokuma is here, I do not think that is possible. Jeez. I said, just forget about him. Anyway. Listen up. Everyone, I gotta tell you guys something. Kaito has an idea? It's a little awkward with Kaito right now, but I should listen. Uh, talk to everyone but him first. Kokichi too. Well, what is Kaito planning? Let's listen to him and find out. I wonder where Kokichi went. If he's off by himself, who knows what he's up to? Hey. Make sure you talk to Kaito. Alright, alright. I just want to get everyone's reactions. Um. Though I do not know what crazy thing Kaito would say. You should hear him out. Um. What's your idea, Kaito? So... Hmm? Uh, oh, yeah. Lacking subtlety, Kaito averted his eyes when he looked around. You know... Looks like Monokuma isn't here. Well, I wouldn't care even if he was. Kaito to turned to us, his expression suddenly serious. Listen up. Didn't I tell you guys yesterday? I'm gonna get you guys out of here. But to do that, I need you guys' help. Please. Help me out here. Huh? What? I mean... In order to help you guys, I need you all to work with me. Wait. Uh, hold on. What are you talking about? Um... Work with you? What do you mean? Got it. Fight Monokuma with me. I knew it. I, I knew he was gonna mention that. I knew it. Fight Monokuma? Listen up. Now's our chance. Since the Monokubs are gone, Exocells that are protecting him can't move. Let's do it. Now's our chance to get together and kick Monokuma's ass. Fight Monokuma? I see. That must be why Kaito was looking for weapons. But... Monokuma's probably got more spares. Wouldn't it be pointless no matter how many we beat? And all we need to do is just join them one by one till there aren't any left. But we don't know what Monokuma's got up his sleeve. Even without the Exocels, this academy's still under his control. Hey! Then you're fine with the way things are now? Do you guys really want to continue this killing game? Are you okay with that? Listen up. The only way to change things now is to fight. If you want to put an end to this killing game, then we gotta fight. Hey guys! If we don't stand up now, then when? But you don't have anyone who can fight. Like Gonta or Tenko. Then I'll just have to fight on their behalf. What? Well I know an assassin wouldn't say this, but I'm sick of all this killing. Maki. Everyone! What? Let's do it. Kibo, you too? I heard it. My inner voice that guides me when I feel lost spoke to me again. It says, now's the time. Now's the time to stand and fight. I'm I is someone feeding you those messages? Maybe a dangerous course of action, but if it will prevent future victims, I... then I decided I will fight Monokuma. You. I've been waiting for those words. Very well. I'll lend you my power. What? Were you were you really waiting for that? I I don't want to I don't want to lose any more friends. It's even more painful than using yourself. Great, huh? That's what I'll fight. I'm not afraid of Monokuma. Yeah. Okay then. Me too. We can't let the killing game go on like this. Hey. Uh -huh. You're going to join as well, right, Suichi? Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. All right. So we all agree. Then it's decided. Let's do it. We're gonna beat Monokuma to a pulp. Yeah. And let's show him what we're made of. Mm. I won't even need to use my magic. I think if you can use your magic, now's the time for it. Well... When did you guys want to start? I'm fine with starting right away. Nah. Don't get ahead of yourself, because this will be the final battle. We should make sure we're prepared. What? 
Prepared for what? I mean... Prepare for battle, of course. Well, I'll take care of that for you guys. <laughs> so you make preparations, but you can't clean up after yourself? Huh. Well, since I was the one who brought this up, I gotta get things prepared at least. So you guys just gotta prepare yourselves mentally. All right. The battle's gonna be tonight. Once it's nighttime, let's meet, let's meet up at the gym. <gasps> oh my god, stuff's gonna go down so quick. After that, we ate breakfast and prepared for our final battle. We separated for now and returned to our rooms. Shit's gonna go down. Someone gonna die. We just don't know who. Fight with Monokuma. It's true, this is our chance, but what is the sense of unease? It's because Monokuma is probably two steps ahead of us. And Kokichi, too. I can't imagine he just ignore this. He must be planning something. We have to be cautious. Okay. Well, since it's free time. Let's go see to Mugi. Where is she? Oh, wait. Okay, there she is. She's in her her lab. Hey girl! Um, Maki's the only one of us left who can fight. I wonder if it's really going to be okay. Should I hang out with her? Yeah! Sorry! Sorry for being so negative. This is a chance like we've never had before. I'm going to do my best and be useful. I spent some time with Tamuki. Yugi and I grew a little closer today. I'd like to give her a present. Yeah. Can I give you another sewing kit? Yes. What is it? Yay! She still likes it. <laughs> All right. Like I promised, today's cosplay's fun episode. Smoky seems pretty energized. I wonder what she has in store for me. Um. First, I'll tell you the words of wisdom for my cosplay friends. Right. You make the size of your eyes up. Huh? What? Um. Makeup. Makeup's pretty much like drawing a picture on your face. You can make someone look like a completely different person with makeup. Uh, um. I see. With makeup, some guys can crossplay so well, it makes you feel like I've lost as a woman. Huh? They crossplay? You're right! They're so cute, I don't even think twice seeing them in a the woman's restroom. Wait! But they shouldn't be in there in the first place, right? Yeah. Cons get super chaotic. Hot guys coming out of the woman's restroom, and vice versa. Can't imagine that it gets pretty chaotic. That reminds me. Oh, and I should so show you pictures of cosplays reenacting scenes. Uh, um. They reenact scenes? What do you mean? Um. It's when people cosplaying characters from the same work get together. And when they try to reenact famous scenes from their work. You're right! But 2D poses aren't the same as 3D, of course. In order to reproduce them, sometimes you need super weird setups. Uh. Like step stools, people holding you up. Or especially on Lee like poses. I shouldn't ask. Oh. Well, that about covers it. But I've been talking the whole time. Is there something you want to hear about? Uh would like to draw a crowd, being on location must be fun. Well this one. This is a question. Um. What's it like to draw a crowd? Uh. Hmm, that's a hard question. Uh. To be honest, it makes me feel like a panda at the zoo, I guess. I can see that. Surrounded by people, everyone taking photos. I'd much rather make cosplay than wear them. Smoky seems kind of stressed out. I should change the subject. Hey! Which location was the most fun for you? Uh... Wouldn't say fun, but the one that left the biggest impression is an event at a theme park where I was cosplaying a character from a kid's show. All the kids there kept yelling, Do your special move! <laughs> The other cosplayers and I tried to do the poses, but the kids didn't like them. So I ended up practicing them a bunch. It turned into a good learning experience. Smoky's having so much fun explaining all this. I'm having fun too. Aww, yeah. That's sweet. I listened to Smoky's fond memories of cosplaying, then returned to my room.
I still have some time. What should I do? Zumugi, Zumugi. Let's keep being friends with her. Well, I was hoping it's gonna go down tonight. That most likely means this is my last free time, isn't it? Oh, there she is. Probably knows about our plan, right? Yeah, I think he does. So why is he trying to stop us? Maybe he's giving us some space. I think he <laughs> something is definitely up. He definitely knows what we're doing. When I think about it like that, it makes me anxious. But why don't we make? Why don't we have a mixed juice drink here to take our minds off of it? I try to. I try one of Tsumuki's signature cocktails at her lab. Tsumuki and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a gift? Definitely! Um, okay, so she likes the cheer coat. Give her that, yes. <gasps> this is nice, you got good taste, Suichi. If you're offering it to me, I'll gladly accept it. I'm really happy now. Um. Tsumugi, why did you first start making cosplay? What? That's where you jumped to? Uh, um, if you'd rather not say, you don't have to. No. It's not that I don't want to say, it's just a little embarrassing. Tsumugi blushed and brought her first church and thinking. Uh, where to start? From a young age, I love clothes that were cool or cute. Anime was full of clothes like that, so every weekend I'll be glued to the TV. Um, One day, I eventually learned of a thing called cosplay. As soon as I did, I went and secretly made my favorite character's outfit. Huh? That's amazing. You made it from scratch? Yeah. It was too hard to make it from scratch, so I modified an existing outfit. And even though I'd made it, I didn't have the courage to wear it to a con. What? Even so, I wanted someone to see it. Do you understand that feeling? Okay. I think I do. You work really hard. Right, right? Humans are just lumps of desire that need acknowledgement. And so, I dared to put it up on the internet. What should we do? Thinking back on it now, showing an outfit like that is so embarrassing. Smoothie really squirming. I understand how she feels. Hi. That fandom was full of nice people, so they didn't make fun of me. Actually, a certain cosplayer said it was good for my first time. That compliment was good enough for me, but um. then they said they wanted to wear it so that we can go to a con together. To my surprise, there were really famous cosplayer in that fandom. Hmm. Is that right? Well, did you go? Yeah. Of course. It was more fun than I even imagined. I couldn't believe it. Smoogie's eyes are sparkling. It must have been a lot of fun. Uh, Looking back, that cosplay just wanted to drag others into the cosplay swamp. I was dragging quite easily, but still, I'm thankful. Hmm. And that was the start of your ultimate talent, right? You're right! Yeah, if I hadn't been invited to that con, I wouldn't be the person I am now. I'm still friends with that cosplayer. I want to make more outfits for them. Uh, uh, what kind of tone have I been setting? I'm so embarrassed. I made you listen to that plain, boring story. No! Oh, I want to hear no. more. I'd love to hear more about it. These stories are fascinating. <laughs> hmm. What? Did I say something wrong? What is this? I've never heard that light out of girls' manga or dating sims. Her eyes are getting sparkly again. It's plain to see. If you were in a dating sim, you wouldn't be the most popular, but you'd have fans. Is that a compliment? I have no idea. Aw, yay! Maybe tell me a few more cosplay stories and return to my room. She's a nice girl. Well, everyone besides Kokichi is nice. Hmm? He's not there. He's probably getting ready to do whatever he needs to do to stop us. Monokuma isn't here. What was that? No. Is the plan compromised? I should get to the gym. I'm sure everyone is already gathered there. Is there anyone here? No. I 
Oh, one person. Tsumuki! Shuichi! Are you headed to the gym? Okay. Yes, I am. Hey! I remember hearing Miu getting all worked up about it, but... In Kibo's research lab, there are a lot of parts to upgrade him, right? If he used those, we wouldn't have to depend so much on Maki in fights. Well... That's true, but... Kibo said he doesn't want anything too sci-fi, so... In this situation, maybe he should just get over that already. Well, we shouldn't force him to do anything. One man's moe is another man's trash. Hmm? Wait, is that how it goes? Oh, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna go on ahead. Hmm, okay. There's no one here. I have no idea what to anticipate. <sighs> what the heck? All right. Everyone's here. I hope you're all ready. Oh. Are those weapons? Oh yeah. So you went to my lab yesterday to find weapons to use against Monokuma. Got it. That's right. Hey guys. Anyway, let's get started. You better be ready. Uh, you don't mean ready to die, right? Idiot. What? No, I mean ready to fight and win, obviously. Ready to fight and win? Yeah. Yeah, we challenged him a bunch of times, but it never worked out, right? That's because we gave up. Listen up. This time we can't give up, because this is our final chance. We're gonna beat up Monokuma and end this ridiculous killing game. <laughs> what a coincidence! I was planning on ending this killing game, too. Upon hearing that voice, we spoke. All spun on a dime and saw him standing before us. Kokichi! The heck is that? You know, I was also thinking about how to end this killing game as soon as possible. You little. What are you? I wouldn't move if I were you. At least if you don't want to become this little guy's prey. Th that. Is that a bomb? A b b bomb! Yep, it's exactly that. Which means... If you don't want to be blown to pieces, then you need to listen to what I'm about to tell you. What do you want? So? What was I going to tell you? Don't lie! You were the one who said it! You? What are you going to do with that bomb? Ah. Uh, yeah, I was going to tell you my purpose. See? You know, how it says in the rules of the killing game continue until there's only two left. But... Never mentioned anything about how many you can kill, right? Huh? What? Well, you know. So here's a question for everyone. <laughs> Who wants to survive with me? Just the two of us. It can't be! You! What did you say? Are you planning to kill us all with that bomb? Are you serious? And the way you were gonna end this killing game is... I thought maybe I should kill everyone. Except for me and, like, one other person. Kill everyone? If I did that, I'd be able to end the killing game and still abide by school rules, right? Well then, who wants to live? It's first come, first serve. On the count of three, first one to raise their hand wins. No! Don't screw around! Who'd ever agree to that plan? I... Even you, if you destroy- If you know if you threaten to destroy me, I have no intention of being manipulated by you. Why you? Uh, I'm scared of dying. But nothing good will come from surviving with you. What was that? I also don't want to survive with someone who would do such a thing to Gonta. You bastard. I'd rather kill you. Is that alright? Okichi, you just don't get it. We're not going to do what you want. Oh. What a surprise. I didn't think this would go exactly as I predicted. Huh? What? <laughs> I lied about killing everyone. I just wanted to test your determination. Huh? Determination? Yeah. I wanted to see if you guys were determined enough to end this killing game. 
Let's work together. We can use the ultimate anti-monokuma weapons. Ultimate anti-monokuma weapons? Did he get that from Rentaro's lab? I think he did. I feel like he did. What? Determined enough to end the killing game? I never thought I'd hear you say that. What do you have to say, Kibo? You hiding, hiding behind there? Hi, hi. Weapons like Kaito brought. Can't imagine these are ultimate anti one Kibo. No, they're not. I know they're not. I don't talk to Kibo. As I thought. I didn't expect Kokichi to lay low. But killing all but two of us is a horrible idea. But he might seriously do it too. Careful, Suichi. Yeah, no, I will. I will. What, what's wrong with him? I have no idea what he's thinking. Is he even actually human? After seeing that, Kibo is more human than he is. Oh, he's probably super happy to hear that. You bastard. That asshole. How long is he going to keep screwing around? Everything Kokichi said is putting a huge strain on our hearts. Yeah. I knew you guys would be like this. Now I can definitely entrust the ultimate anti monokin weapons to you guys. Is he talking about the hammers? Could it be? Uh, you're talking about the hammers? There's no reason to listen to him, guys. Come on, at least hear me out. This is also Mew's memento. Oh, Mew's memento? Yeah. She made it? Yeah, they're called Electro Hammers, and they're something I asked Mew to invent. How exciting! They're a pretty incredible invention that disables any electronic machine on contact. <gasps> this is how Kibo's gonna die. This is how Kibo's gonna die. Someone's gonna whack him, and then they're gonna put him on the on the on the hydraulic machine. And then they're gonna go smush. And it's gonna be gone. Huh? Sables electronic machines. <laughs> I bet that includes Kibo too. They should be helpful against Monokuma, right? What? Helpful against Monokuma? Hold up. Hey, how did you know we were gonna fight Mono? Ah. Well, I just happened to be hiding in the dining hall when I heard you discussing it. Ah. Where was he hiding? In the kitchen? The fact that you were hiding there means it wasn't a coincidence. But... I was all, I was just so elated when I heard you guys went to fight Monokuma. Because that was my plan all along. That's how I want to end this killing game. That's why I asked Mew to make this. To defeat Monokuma and the Monokubs. Stop it. Don't lie. You've been fixated on this killing game the whole time. Always messing around. Is that really something Mew made? Aren't you lying about that too? I'm disappointed. Huh? You're gonna doubt that too? Of course, haven't you forgotten- have you forgotten everything you've done to us up until now? Yeah. Yep, I forgot. Yeah. How do you expect us to believe that? Because... That doesn't make sense. If Mew made that weapon, why didn't she... Why didn't she use that instead of murdering someone? Hmm. Yeah, if there are weapons that fight against Monokuma, we should have all fought together. Yes. This is all your fault. Huh? Our fault? Oh, man. I told Mew too, you know. Around the time Astro should invent this. I told her that we should fight against Monokuma, but she... Yeah. Pain in my ass. Why do I gotta make this again? Well, you know. Quit complaining. This is all for an unfuckable, ugly bitch like you is good for it anyway. What? Huh? Oh, okay. But... Well, this is so exciting. When this is done, we can probably defeat Monokuma, right? Especially when we all join forces. Yeah. Don't be stupid. If we're gonna do it, do it yourself. Mm -hmm. um. It doesn't matter if we promise to work together. Someone will still betray us. Betray us. And kill one of us. <laughs> Besides, this weapon won't make a difference. We'll be killed by an XSL before we can use it. I just invented it because I was asked to. I have no intention of defying Monokuma. There's no way we can beat him. And I can't afford to die here anyway. Not when I can still need to invent something that's gonna change the world. So if you want to defy Monokuma, do it yourself. Come with me. But if it does work out, come help me, okay? I'll do anything. 
anything. Thank you. Someone will so betray us. That's what she said. Well, the exosols were still moving at the time, so I don't blame her, but she was afraid to trust you guys. Fear of betrayal overcame her. That's why she bluttered her hands in this killing game. Damn. That idiot. Well, you know. But you guys were different. You guys went loose with the fear of your friends betraying you, right? You showed your determination to fight together, and you ignored my advice from earlier. No. And you would lie about killing all of us just to test that theory? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I want you guys to do your best. Don't screw around. What are you saying? You probably just lied about talking to me. Ah. By the way, the electro hammers weren't the only thing me you made. <laughs> she made this thing too. What? That bomb too. <laughs> it's not exactly a bomb though. Even if it is, uh, even if it's. Even if it is called an electrobomb, it jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves. Um. For two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. My bad. So I need to use it carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammers. Please wait. Settle. We have no intention of using such suspicious looking hammers. But... Are you sure? You can use these electro hammers not only against Monokuma, but also to get through that underground tunnel. Oh, that thing. <laughs> that really hard obstacle. Huh? The underground tunnel. See? You can use the electro hammers to destroy the electronic traps in that place. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Oh, are you finally starting to believe me? But be careful, electro hammers run out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against an exosol, it'll run out of juice with just one shot. Got it? Once the battery depletes, it takes 24 hours to fully charge. So watch out for that. Um. Anyway, I'm done explaining. So I'll hand over the electro hammers. I'll let you guys talk it over. I won't interfere anymore either. Huh? It won't interfere? See? I'll be looking from a distance or something like that. You don't want me to run anyway. No. Wait, before you run off again. There's something I need to ask you. What was that writing in the courtyard? Yeah. That message I gone to found. This world is mine, I believe it said. Did you write that? I and mean, if you did, why? Hmm? What's that? I have no idea. Don't play dumb. Your name is on it. You've got to be the one who did it. But I wouldn't get anything from writing much just like that, would I? That would just make you guys suspect I am the mastermind. Huh? The mastermind? Because yeah, this world is mine, Kikuchioma. Wouldn't it be seem like the mastermind? Ah. I know this is all Monokuma's doing. He's trying to get us to suspect each other. But don't worry, I truly want to end this killing. Only a dark shadow slid between us, quite out oh, quick as a flash. Oh God, Maki, what are you doing? Tell us the truth. What are you scheming? Like I said, I just want to end this killing game. That's all. If you don't tell us the truth, then I'll break you. Maki, roll, cut it out. You'll get killed if you don't. I told you we can't play this killing game. That's just what Monokuma wants! Maki let go, and Kokichi's body fell in the heap on the floor. Jeez, you're such a me. How could you do something like this to a friend? Friend, as if. You guys may not think that way, but I see you all as my friends. That's why I'll be back. I won't interfere anymore, so please, continue to walk the path you believe in. This little asshole. Kokichi picked himself up and staggered to the exit. He left behind all the electro hammers. Hmm. Well, what should we do? No. You mean about the hammers? They've got to be booby trapped somehow. Hmm. But looking at it, it definitely seems like something Miu made. Hey. Either way, I refuse to believe anything he says. 
you know, if it's not a lie, then isn't this a, our one chance to escape? Huh? What? Listen up. If he uses the electro hammers, maybe we can get through the underground passage. So why don't we try what it? What is it? You mean actually do what Gokichi's suggesting? What? No matter what we do, it'll be dangerous. But are you really going to believe in Kokichi? But you know. Our goal is to escape with everyone, right? If there's a chance we can do it, then we should take it. We don't have enough time. Huh? Time. Uh, okay. Yeah, Monokuma. Like he's gonna get in our way soon. Hmm. True. This is our best chance now that he's not making any obvious movements. Hey, so let's try the underground passage with these hammers. We'll get to the real uh, outside right. world. If we can escape, we'll find out the secret of the outside world for ourselves. Let's see. We do not know if that's a lie or the truth, though. The secret of the outside world. The spear going to mention. Is that a lie? Is it the truth? We have to get out. You're right. We have to try. Right. Yeah, that's all we've got. Well, the secret of the outside world might just be a lie anyway. We must do it. Either way, we should at least try. So we won't have any regrets. What should we do? What do you want to do, Maki? That punk. That hammer's a trap, then I'll really kill that ass. Come on, man. Can't just kill him. Let's punch him. Okay, okay. I know, I'm just gonna beat him to a bloody pulp. I see. I see. If everyone else is gonna do it, I understand. Yeah. Then I'll prepare myself for an underground passage again. Got it. Yeah, right on. However, I'm so concerned that Monokuma has been so quiet. He hasn't shown himself at all since the morning announcement. Where is he? I suppose there's no point worrying about that. Not if I want to focus on moving forward. It's the only thing it can do. Keep moving forward. All right. Let's get going. We're going to escape from the underground passes for sure this time. Kaito okay, so gave a triumphant shout and we all grabbed our electric yes. hammers. Let's go. I'll be cheering for you. That's not it. Himiko, you need to come too. Both the gym and high spirits. All right. I need to go too. I should head to the underground passage. I took the final electro hammer and left the gym. Hmm. 